there, everyone. Today, we get to discover the site in Grimsby, northern England. Best known for its fishing and maritime industry, Grimsby is the perfect location for this Contitech plant. It specializes in the manufacture of offshore marine hoses for various applications, such as the transport of crude oil. Starting hose manufacture in the late 1950s, the plant made a name for itself with its Dunlop oil and marine products. Such a good name, in fact, that the plant still uses it up until this very day. And the hoses produced here are no standard hoses either. Instead, most products are custom made, leading to a close cooperation between Contitech experts and clients. And this also plays an important part in the hoses' designs. But let's hear more on this from a true expert. We've got over 130 plus years of design and analysis experience. Not only do we use state-of-the-art multi-physics, but we've got on-site capability to produce our home prototypes and validate that front-end engineering design work that we do. We also work in close cooperation with our clients, and ultimately that allows us to tailor our specific hose types to their environment. Naturally, marine hoses need to withstand the extreme conditions of a marine environment. And building a hose like that, of course, requires the right compounds. Now these are produced in-house in Grimsby's very own compounding area, which comprises mixing and calendaring. Afterwards, our experts use up to 30 different layers to make the hoses resilient and optimally tailored to their respective application. How does that work? Let's go ahead and find out how our colleagues in Grimsby make that possible. Here in Grimsby, we produce hoses with a 50mm diameter up to a 600mm diameter. We mainly make these hoses up to 12 meters in length, and there's two types that we mainly make. They are floating hoses and some marine hoses. In the hoses, it starts off with the lining compound. The lining is the barrier, so the highest quality compound must be used here. After that, there is multiple reinforcement layers. These reinforcing layers protect the hose against external forces. After that, the helical wire is applied to the hose. They also provide additional push resistance and stiffness to the hose itself. Once that layers have been put together, we then put it into an autoclave. The autoclave is a steam autoclave which allows a process of cross-linking to occur, allowing the hose to become a fully bonded hose. Additionally, we've introduced new technologies such as robotic arms and also AGVs. This allows us to increase efficiency in making sure we get material in the right place at the right time. So our hoses are finished and that means we're done, right? <laughs> Oh no, it doesn't, because after production, the hoses have to undergo a number of tests to ensure quality and robustness. But that's not all. The entire quality control process starts a whole lot earlier. Our mission is to provide material-driven solutions. So the testing starts at the material level. We run tests on rubber, reinforcement and wire. This includes the tensile testing, abrasion testing, adhesion testing, for example, for rubber. This is the test and development center. This area has different rigs. So we have the dynamic fatigue rig, which enables us to perform dynamic fatigue testing on a prototype hose. We also have the crush test rig, which can be used to perform crush testing. We also have a waveform test rig, which is used to perform, again, fatigue testing on the prototype hose. As you can see, the plant in Grimsby sets great value on the quality of their materials, their designs, and their products. They do so for very good reason. After all, these hoses will later be used to transport crude oil through the maritime environment. Safety is key. And what's more, over time, Grimsby has ascended to be one of the leading innovators in the industry. Let's see what they have in store next. There are three market trends driving our product development. The first is energy transition away from fossil fuel. We need products that will transport food of the future. The second is transforming our dump hoses to smart hoses. And the third driver is sustainability. We need to transform our products, materials and processes to environmental friendly equivalents. What an impressive plan, right? As you can see, the colleagues in Grimsby set a high standard on quality and flexible manufacturing. At the same time, they offer custom tailored solutions for various applications, 
All of this from one single source with in-house design, engineering, production, and testing facilities. But the plant does not rest on its success. Instead, it looks straight ahead by researching future technologies related to energy transition and by investing in automation. Well, thank you everyone for joining me on my tour today. I hope you enjoyed this insight into the manufacturing of marine hoses. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, everyone, and cheerio.